back again. I am going to share with you a video that I did about 10 years ago. I had it on YouTube at the time, uh, but YouTube wasn't very popular as much as it is today. People are becoming more creative, and this was a creative project. This was how to wet belt, and it was what I call my old-fashioned way because I was just beginning uh, to wet belt this way, and I made so many things. I made hats and slippers and purses and pictures and little 3D animals and all that kinds of stuff. Things that you can make with felt. A lot of things that you can make. And sometime I'll upload a little album of showing you all the inventory that I did. You know, a lot of it I sold, some I kept, and some I gave away. But uh, I'll show you all that in the future but today let's just do how to wet felt it doesn't show how to clean your felt or prepare your wool but it uh, does show you how to actually do the process uh, I will probably will rarely be doing this in the future because I have a felting machine now and I'll probably be using that as long as it lasts and uh, it, it makes beautiful felt but before you want to invest in anything like that, you want to make sure you even like doing the projects. And if you like it, and if you're going to continue it. And with me, a person that jumps around all the time and does various things, that was very important before investing in the felting machine. But I want to return to felt. It became my favorite medium because I can do so much with it. And it may become yours too. So let's get on with it. Let's see how to wet felt. And in the future, return to see other projects with felting and other things that I do. Okay, we'll see you later. Bye. I've begun a new project. I am making another fiber art painting. This one's going to be larger. And I'm just starting to lay it out. All right, I have just finished my first layer of fiber for this wet felt canvas. For my project, it's going to be a felt painting from alpaca fiber. I have other colors underneath this layer. But this, uh, all these dark colors are going to keep it in place when I've wet felted, it's going to have to be wet felted gently so those colors don't ship too much. I'm excited about it and I can't wait till it's finished so I can see what I have to work with. Okay, so I'm spraying on water on my second layer for my fiber art canvas. There's two layers on here and I really don't care about too much the color for the second layer or the third layer and I'm not quite sure if I'm going to be putting on a fourth layer or not quite yet. I'm keeping the layers rather thin. Soon I'll be ready to felt it and make a nice big piece of cloth. Hopefully with a good enough design I could start needle felting my art. This is on my counter and I have a shower curtain here and things to soak it up the water now this is where I'm at now hopefully we'll see the finished piece by the end of the day it doesn't take too long really though I'm just being real slow at it Okay, this is my third layer. I've added some Dawn liquid soap to my water and I'm spraying a soapy mixture on it now. 
Next, I will be bringing a sheer curtain over it and laying it over it. And with my fingers, I will start rubbing it in a circular motion to start felting uh, a light felt on it. This will be the beginning of the felting process. I'm not going to put a fourth layer on it like I thought. I think three is going to work just fine for what I need it to do. For as thick as I need it and everything for an art project. I don't need it real thick. And this fiber is a coarser fiber. It's not the softest. So it worked just fine. But it won't be long after this, I will be putting it in the bathtub with hot water running. It's on this rubber mat here that I roll it up in. And then I make a big roll out of it and put it in hot water and I just roll it until it begins to shrink. And when it begins to shrink, it bonds to make a fabric. It's really not hard at all. Really easy to do. Anybody can do it. That's it for now though. Okay, when I put the sheer curtain over it, I spray it with my trusty little spray bottle and I put some Dawn liquid soap. I just squirt some on. The Dawn liquid soap makes it slick, kind of like an oil, so that I can rub it in a circular motion and flatten it. I want it flat so I don't have any air bubbles because air bubbles mean that's dry fiber it's not soaked enough it's not bonding with the layer underneath it so I just keep doing this until I feel that it's all flat being careful not to disturb it too much because I have a pattern under here that I don't want to uh, move around. I want it to be somewhat there. I don't need it all to be there, but I need it somewhat there so that I can uh, begin the needle felting for the design I'm creating. You really don't need a lot of Dawn. This kind of helps, uh, I see it, it's helping washing it some more too. I mean this fleece is washed, it's picked, but fleece is so hard to get everything out of it. So this kind of helps with that too. Especially when you take it into the hot water and you start rinsing it and it's got all this soap in it. See how it's turning all flat though? This is how you want it. You can feel it. This is just a sheer curtain that I bought. See how sheer it is? Like a nylon or whatever, polyester, I don't know what some kind of oil product, but that's what I do, and I got this whole thing to do, and then I'll be ready to uh, roll it up and take it into the bathtub. Okay, this is what it looks like after taking the shirt curtain off and rubbing it nice and flat. Next, I'll be rolling it up and shrinking it. I certainly can't wait to see the other side. I'm also afraid I might be a little disappointed. It's a gamble, but I'm a gambler. So, get it started. Okay, it's in the bathtub, ready for the next step hot water and roll until it shrinks.